Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. This is a game that has been out for quite some time, or at least The Binding of Isaac has been out for some time. I, however, only started playing it about a month ago, and I have been hopelessly addicted ever since, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So here we are. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail about stuff, but I do... I have I have done some playing. I have unlocked some of the things, not everything. Um, and we're going to start off today with an Isaac run, because I think when you're starting a Binding of Isaac series, it's only fitting that you start off playing as Isaac. That's a terrible item. Thank goodness we have the D6. Sure, we'll take Dry Baby. Um, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail about the game itself and the mechanics of the game because I'm going to go out on, and assume that since this game has been around so long and since it's been so prevalent on YouTube for so long that the majority of people watching this video already know, at least to some extent, what the game is about and what it's like and all that kind of stuff. Um, however, if you're not familiar with the game, it's a weird game. It's wacky, it's bizarre, it's a little twisted, it's kind of dark, it's also a massive amount of fun and it's hopelessly addicting. <laughs> I didn't give it a fair try for a very long time uh, because I was kind of kind of repulsed by the, the style of the graphics, and by that I don't mean the pixelated style, I mean just the general art direction of the game. Uh, and the, the themes in the game kind of kind of made me look look over it and, and ignore it. And that was a terrible mistake because I finally decided to start playing it after uh, after a lot, a, a lot of watching it. Decided to give it a try, and I've been hopelessly addicted ever since, as I said earlier. Tinted Rock. Couple of Spirit Hearts. Nice. That's a good find to get this early in the game. It would be great. Oh, there's another Tinted Rock. I didn't see that one the first time around. And one more Spirit Heart. We're sitting pretty good. Um, I mean, it would be great if we could get uh, a good item from our boss, but we'll have to see. Boss has to be over this way somewhere. Oh, this room is not going to be... Well, actually, it shouldn't be too bad. As long as I can get rid of some of these little guys fairly quickly, I think we'll be okay. I should also probably warn you guys, I am neither an extremely experienced nor very good Binding of Isaac player. So if you're here looking... For high-level Isaac play from someone who's great at the game, that was a terrible dodge. Thank goodness I have spirit hearts. Um, if you're here looking for someone who's very good at the game and who is amazing and knows everything there is to know about it and all that kind of stuff, you're going to be sorely disappointed. I'm not that good. Um, I would like to think that I'm that I can hold my own, that I'm reasonably okay, but you've been warned. <laughs> you've been warned. And mistakes will be made. That was horrible. Can I please just dodge, like, some of these? Put Dry Baby in front of me. Get that Necronomicon effect. Come on, Dry Baby, you gotta pop for me. Ooh, he's moving. Dingle. Not, not actually a super challenging boss, but I'm just playing very badly right now. Get rid of... Yep. There's, there's the Dry Baby effect. He's moving again. And three, there we go. Uh, I have not yet learned all of the enemy patterns. I haven't learned all the things... Uh, we're gonna reroll that. Oh, Halo. Much better. All stats up. A little bit of a damage upgrade. A little bit of a health upgrade. Pretty good pickup all in all. Not too bad for a first floor. We're walking away with one extra health, plus some spirit heart. A little bit more everything else from the all stats up. All in all, not a bad first floor. Um, anyway, as I was saying... Ooh, boy. I'm still kind of learning the game. For the most part, I know what the items do. I don't always remember the names of the items. Uh, I do, for the most part, know which items to avoid because they will ruin your run. So we should be okay in that regard. I'm not going to, like, accidentally pick up soy milk and regret it for the rest of the run or anything like that. Uh, but at the same time, I don't know all the synergies, I don't know uh, all the ways to break the game. I mean, this game has been around for a while. There are some people out there who have it down to pretty much a science at this point and know exactly what they're going to need to improve the run and all that kind of stuff. And I'm not one of those people, at least not yet, maybe someday, but not at this time. Uh, $3 bill. That's actually a decent pickup. That'll give us random tier effects. We'll take it, and our card is... 
a two of spades. I'm gonna use it right away to get myself two keys. There we go. We got our tier effects. Looks like we've got triple shot. Another key, not bad. And we've got a reroll ready. I'm guessing, no, that's not our secret room. I thought maybe it would be, but. Hmm. So secret room could be by the item room or the shop. I don't really like our odds for either of those. Let's use a bomb to get to this chest. And yeah, I'd say that was worth it. Bomb for a key and a couple coins, not too bad. What's over here? Nothing. Ooh, we got 2020 as our tier effect. Not bad at all. Get rid of those guys and a troll bomb. That wasn't helpful. I'm gonna avoid, well, I can't even get into the boss trap room anyway, but let's head down and see. These guys shouldn't be too bad. Go away. I'm guessing, th no, we already decided, we already realized that can't be our secret room because there's uh, stuff blocking it from the top. This is gonna be a really annoying room. Just because these guys, can I goad you out? There we go, got him. There we go. Okay, that actually went relatively well, all things considered. I bet I found our secret room as well. I'll bet you it's directly to the right of where we are right now. Right here, ha ha, called it. And not a great secret room. Not a whole lot here that's at all beneficial. That's okay. Let's keep going. Here's our boss fight. We do have a spirit heart lying around. So hopefully we'll be able to get a deal with the devil at the end of this floor. That would be great. If you're not familiar with the game, basically if you take red heart damage on the floor that you're on, starting with the second floor and going basically until the first like main boss of the game is killed, um, or actually the second main boss of the game, you'll get a special deal at the end where you can trade away some of your health for very powerful items, potentially. And I'd like to take advantage of that if we can. We basically just have to go in and pretty much not get hit more than three times. Or three times or more, I should say. Uh, second secret room could be right here. I'm not gonna risk a bomb. I only have one bomb. I'd like to save it for a tinted rock if we can find one. And little horn, and we've got, like, proptosis for our tier effect? It seems like. There we go. Triple shot. Maybe a little bit better. Let's get rid of Little Horn. He likes to blow himself up on bombs, which is very helpful. Go away. There we go. And then we've got this guy there. Mom's lipstick. Not an amazing item. We'll pick that up if... Um, I don't know that I, I really want either of those items. Judas's shadow is pretty good. It will uh, respawn me if I die with double the damage. But, what's this? Bad trip. Ugh, terrible pill. But I think I'm going to skip both of those. And we'll reroll this and get Speedball, which gives me more speed. I'm going to skip it because here's the thing. I'm still trying to complete different things. And one of the things that I need to complete is I need to kill uh, the lamb as Isaac. And if I respawn as Judas, I don't get that completion. So I'd prefer to stay as Isaac if I can. Let's try and avoid... These guys are so annoying. This guy needs to go so I can focus on other enemies. $3 bill doing, doing some good things for me right now. Die, please. Thank you. Get rid of that guy that's spawning enemies. Um, boss Rush... We might be able to make it if you make it to the first main boss in the game and uh, you get there in under 20 minutes, you can fight a special room that has a ton of, basically has all the early game bosses in waves. It's like 15 waves of bosses, but you can get some decent items for it. Uh, it may be worthwhile. I don't think we're going to make it though. I don't think we're going to get there in time. This is actually not too bad once you get rid of that first guy. This guy is going to be really annoying though. Can I like... Swing shim... Ah. Come over here, guy. I can't hit you when you're all the way over there. There we go. Got him. This could be a secret... Nope, it's not a secret room. Hmm. These shouldn't be too bad. It would be great if we could get, like, piercing shots as our tear effect for a, <laughs> for a room. That would be really useful. Shot speed up. Oh, and 2020 coming in at a perfect time. 
giving me double shots because these guys are a little annoying and you have so many things on the screen at once. It can really kind of mess with you. I think we'll skip our shop since I don't really have any, enough money to buy anything super useful. We got fear shot and triple shot right now, it looks like. Thank you, Dry Baby. Much appreciated. And self-sacrifice room, not super useful. Over here. This shouldn't be too bad of a room. I don't see any of the, the blue guys that tend to get me more often. My dodge game is not amazing. I fully admit it. It's something I need to work on and improve, but I think we're doing pretty good okay on this run so far. I don't... That first floor, I took a little bit of bad damage that I'm not super proud of, but I don't think I've been hit yet on this floor. Famous last words, though. What's bound to happen is I'm going to get hit now in this room as a result of me being cocky and arrogant. Um, or just saying that I'm doing well. We'll have to see. Go away. We got Mom's Contact as our tear effect right now, which will freeze enemies if we can... Oh, come on. Stop. Stop doing the thing. There we go. Okay. Made it out of this room without taking damage. What do we got in our item room? Sure. I'll take Skinny Odd Mushroom. Or Odd Mushroom. Either way. Greatly increases our tier, uh, our, our rate of fire. It gives us a little bit of a damage downgrade as well, but I think the, uh, the increased fire rate is worth it. And we're getting some coins. Let's try and clear this stuff out as quickly as we can. Let's not get hit there. Uh, get rid of the guy that'll explode when I kill him. Ooh, there we go. Death's touch. Scythes. Great, great item. Great tier effect. Fire mine, not so much, but we'll be okay. Ooh, so one of these is a shop. This is a shop. The other one's a library. Restock could be... What am I on? Catacombs 1. Restock could be really useful. I do want to head back over here. Because this is a library, then, if that's our shop. And I want to check this and see. What have we got? Book of Secrets. Might as well use it. Book of Shadows, which I don't need. And I could re-roll these and get our Bookworm transformation right away. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to do it. And we'll pick up that. That'll give us Bookworm. We'll pick up the Bible just so it doesn't show up in uh, our shops later, because I'm not going to want it. And... Yeah. Let's, let's leave it at that. So then, our D6 is completely depleted charge-wise. Ooh, that's right. The spikes scare me a little bit. But we can go in here and get three charges. Ah, I'm... Hmm, I could really use a couple more keys. I would like to check those rooms. I suppose what I could do... Well, then I won't have bombs to get into there. Let's see how many charges we get. Making it to the boss room. I have to I have to imagine the boss room is going to be coming up pretty soon. Uh, a couple of tarot cards. Tarot cards, not tarot. Wow, so no charges. So even if I do fight that room, I'm still not going to get... Uh, I'm still not going to get enough charges to have a charge ready for the boss. But that's okay. Peep is annoying. One of my least favorite early game bosses. For sure. Although this guy... Uh, there we go. There he's, there he's doing things. Much easier when you can fly. Unfortunately, at the moment, I can't fly. Yep, you land right there and just run the stuff into the things. Get out of the way. It's the little... It's the little orbiting eye guys that cause the problems. Because they get in your way. And you have to worry about moving. Let's get over here where I'll be safe. See? Right there. Took damage, and there goes our deal with the Devil Chance, because apparently I didn't have any Spirit Hearts. So I must have taken damage on this floor without realizing it. That's too bad. So we took Red Heart damage. We didn't get a deal with the Devil, unfortunately. We did get Pentagram, though, which is a very good item. So I'll take it. I'll count myself lucky. I think our base damage now is like 4.85 without tier effects. Whoa. Whoa. There's all sorts of wacky stuff going on there. I, I don't know. Whatever. But we're doing okay. We've got decent health. Oh, that's right. The bad trip. The bad trip made me lose my spirit heart on the last floor. That's okay. Take a bomb. 
Uh, might as well see if we can find anything useful here. We're only a couple coins short of being able to buy something in our shop. And I'd prefer not to blow up my donation machine if I can avoid it, but... Go away, guy. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, good. So we have a battery charge there. We're gonna leave that in case I re-roll something and want to re-roll it again. That could come in handy. Stay away from me when you explode. Thank you. Free bomb. Not too bad. This actually will be a relatively easy room, I think. As long as we don't get... Yeah, not bad at all. Pretty easy room. Just if every room can be like that one, I will not complain. These guys are super annoying, though. And my fire rate is just... Uh, I think I have Eve's Mascara right now as my... Um, tear effect? Because my fire rate is just shot. There's like nothing. There we go. Dry baby. Coming through. Okay, awesome. And another bomb. We've got tons of bombs. Oh, I should probably deal with... We'll be okay. There goes that one. And there we go. Not too bad. This is probably our shop. We got some useful stuff. Um, nothing. I'm just going to buy a key. And actually, you know what? I'm going to buy a key and a spirit heart. Because if I can get a deal with the devil on this floor, that would be very important. Not really a huge fan of the ladder. It's an okay item. It's not bad. Like, it's not going to hurt you. But it's not really that beneficial either. It's really just a utility item. And probably isn't going to do that much for us. So we got our boss fight right there. Now the question is, do we want to fight the boss now? Or do we want to wait until we go to our item room first? I think we're probably best off fighting the boss now since we have a spirit heart. And I don't think I'm going to take more than two, heart, two hits against the boss. And that'll help get us a better chance of a deal with the devil. I can see forever. Very useful, pill. So we'll... Oh, of all the bosses, you had to give me this one. Thanks for that, game. This is maybe possibly the most annoying of the early game bosses. And we got to deal with the angel. Okay. We'll take toothpicks. That's a good item. And two angel items, neither which are very useful, is scapular or rosary. Again, neither one is super good. I mean, scapular is good in a way. But I think I'm going to go with the Rosary and get the Spirit Hearts. That actually gives us the Seraphim transformation as well, which is awesome. You know what? Let's do it. Let's blow up the Angel Statue. We'll go for, you know, if we get the chance to fight Mega Satan at the end of the run, I'll take it. I do need to get rid of the Lamb. I do need to kill the Lamb as Isaac. But it is possible to kill the Lamb and Mega Satan on the same run if you have both the key pieces. And I think we can take the Angel Statue. We're... We're relatively strong. I wouldn't say we're doing amazingly well. I could really use some more damage, but all in all, we could be in a much worse position than we're in right now. And this is a great room. Keys. So let's pop these chests. We're going to pop all three. We got our keys back. We got a rune, which is Degas. Um, do I want to use that on this one? I don't think I do. I think we'll save that for the next floor. It'll eliminate curses and give me one spirit heart, and I don't really need... Although we do have a curse right now, I don't think it's worth it. Because we can find our secret rooms anyway just by walking through. We're not going for boss rush, so I'm not super worried. I think we'll be okay. Ooh, you're, there's an enemy right there. I'm glad I noticed it. I almost ran into him. Okay, let's go this way. Nope, nothing there. What about over here? Nope. Up. Aha! And gluttony. You stay away. Ooh, HP up. I will take that. Why not? Could be... Actually, you know what I should have done is I should have looked for an arcade. Too late now. Could have played the Blood Bank and gotten a lot more value out of that HP up than I did, but that's okay. Golden poop, that'll actually let us get something from the shop if we want. All that we have right now is the ladder right now, but there is a reroll machine, so... Probably worth... And we do have a ton of bombs, so it's probably worth checking the reroll machine to see if we can get, like, um... 
What would be really good? Nun's Habit would be awesome with, uh, with D6. Basically, any charge item could be good. Thankfully, we have Flight, so these rooms are not nearly as bad. Thank you, Seraphim. I appreciate it. And this is a... Tears Up. Okay, good pill. In here, we have Halo of Flies. Hmm... Do we go for it or do we re-roll it? I think we re-roll it. Sure. We'll take Dr. Fetus. With the, This is going to be very interesting with the $3 bill tier effects. This should give me all sorts of crazy stuff. But that'll also help me find my, uh, my secret rooms and all that stuff. We can definitely check the curse room. We got Guppy's Collar. We may have... A small chance of becoming Guppy, given that we're not getting, given that we have uh, Angel Room precedent. I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of Guppy stuff going on, but oh, let's not blow ourselves up. This is going to be an extremely annoying room with these enemies. I, oh, I've got the, the mirror tear effect right now, and I don't even know what that is. Blow up. There we go. I do have two keys. Actually, you know what? We're gonna check it. We gotta check it. We gotta check the room. What do we got? Oh, the guppy dream is real. And I have a reroll. So we can take that. We can reroll that into goat head. Yeah, you know what? Let's take it. Let's override our, uh, our angel room precedent to give us guaranteed deals with the devil. Instead, we'll take this battery. We'll head... I probably should blow up those mushrooms. Given that I have unlimited bombs and we're not going for boss rush. One makes you larger, not a great pill. And then... We get to blow this up. A couple times. Blue map. Yeah. Um... Yeah, we'll take it. You know what? I know I have unlimited bombs, but I could get something that it gets overridden by later. We'll go with we'll we'll go with this. And I think we're finally ready to head down to the next floor. And down we go. Actually, before I do, in here. Well, you know, you know what? I have full spirit hearts. Why am I checking for spirit hearts? Amnesia. That was like the perfect time to get the amnesia pill, given that I was about to head down to the next floor anyway, and I will never accidentally take it again over the course of this run. So we'll be good. This guy's gotta go. Look at that. Rip. We'll take this. We'll put it back down. We may re-roll that later, depending on what other our uh, other items are. Sure. Let's check. That's probably we're we're going to re-roll this actually for sure. Oh, these are annoying enemies to deal with when you're me. This is <laughs> these are not the ideal. Uh, Dr. Fetus enemies, for sure. There we go. And rip. And I don't want that. Um, we, we'll come back and re-roll that if we need to. Okay. Oh, that was not the best choice in the world. This is... This enemy is gonna be super annoying. I can't even hit him. My stuff go... My bombs go right through him. There we go. Die. Thank you. Tower. Hermit. We'll take Degas. Probably the better of the cards. I could use the Hermit to, like, poof me to the item room. That was bad damage. But we got a soul. We got a black card out of it, so it's okay. This is maybe my least favorite room in Isaac. <laughs> there we go. That could have been horrible, but it wasn't too bad. Please die. Thank you. Oh, mushroom guy. Go away. Couple more bombs. Not super useful given that I essentially have unlimited bombs thanks to Dr. Fetus, but hey, we'll take it. And here we have one coin. Eh. Might as well blow up this guy, see if he drops anything useful. Ooh. Nickel. Please. 
spiders. Eh. Let's head down through this way. I do kind of want to clear as many of the rooms as I can. Since we're not going for boss rush or hush, I'm not really on a timeline, and I'd prefer to kind of do my due diligence and make sure that uh, I can, you know, get all the stuff that I need to ensure this is a successful run. There we go. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Oh, I almost, I almost dodged right into him on that one. Oh, that was not what I had intended to do. But that's all right. This will be an easy room to clear. One makes you small. We'll take it. We'll take the eternal heart as well, even though I probably shouldn't have, but whatever. There we go. Couple of keys. Not bad. So please, just eat the bombs. There we go. Got him. He was kind of annoying. The world. Sure, let's do that. And our item room is back all the way in the opposite direction. Um, I don't really need any of these. We're just gonna go. The boomerang is not at all worth my time. We also have enough rooms that I know I'll... I totally meant to do that, I promise. I, I that was, that was completely intentional. Stupid mimic chest. Um, anyway. I think we re-roll this. Ooh, and we get sad onion. Very good item. Maybe not so good with, uh, with Dr. Fetus, considering I'm launching massive amounts of bombs. What would be really useful for this run would be some sort of explosion immunity, either the host or, um, pyromaniac. That would be amazing. Anytime you get one of the fetus items or some sort of turn your tears into explodey things item, uh, explosion immunity is something that can be incredibly useful. Oh, let's not dodge into that. I wasn't paying attention. That was my own fault. Please pop up. Hey. Hey, guy. Get exploded. Okay. Chariot, not as good as Degas. Let's blow up all the skulls since they can drop useful things. Come on. Please, guys. I don't have all day. Pop up. There we go. Got him. All right. What's this card? High Priestess. Not worth... <laughs> not worth all of that. Bob's Rotten Head? Really? Terrible. Actually, you know what I should do? Let's pick it up and put it back down to remove it from the item pool so I don't see it again. No. Mom's Contact. Not what we need. Dad's Key. Also not what we need since we already have... Don't want that either. Sure. We'll take Adrenaline. Oh, that's okay. I was thinking for a minute that was Synth Oil, uh, but it wasn't. Go away, guys. There we go. That was not the item that I thought it was, but that's okay. Oh, well. It's fine. Um, so both of our secret rooms have been revealed because we have the blue map, right? Yes, yes, yes. That was horrible damage. Why? Why did I do that? That was so bad. We do have one more item we can re-roll. Which we will. Uh, although I want to check our boss room and stuff first. What was that? Why Why you fire so slow, thing? Oh, and now you want to go back to being normal bombs. I see how it is. Oh, this is going to be mostly annoying. There we go. I think the worst of it's over. That would be a lot more annoying if we could fly. But I think we're good. That was close. Way too close. There. And we got a sack with a key. And a sun card. That is arguably better than Degas. We'll take it. Um, Go get exploded. You also get exploded. There we go. Actually, you know what I should do? We're going to take our Degas room. We're going to pop it. And then we'll take the sun card with us. That's a better plan. Please die, monstros. 
Oh, man. My tears are so slow. There goes one. And... Oh, come on. Two. Got him. That was a... Annoying room. Double bosses, basically. Goodbye. Hermit. Yep, not concerned. We'll take this. What's in our super secret room? A bunch of spirit hearts. And I think I might be able to reroll this if I blow up the angel statue. He won't drop a key because he's not actually an angel room angel, but that's going to hurt. That's also going to hurt him. Get him. Oh, why did I stand there? That's okay. We're fine. There's plenty of spirit hearts lying around. We're not going to take that much damage over the course of the fight. We'll be fine. There we go. That should do it. And he dropped a tarot card. High Priestess, not that useful. All right, let's go fight our boss. The adversary. One of... Why is it every boss that I'm fighting in this run is like my least favorite boss? Ah, stop it with the brimstone. Luckily, our damage is insanity. Hmm. We'll decide on that momentarily. Okay, shield and void. Now, here's a question. Do we swap out the void for the D6? Or the D6 for the void? Because you can void the D6 and basically give it the D6 effect, I believe. No, because then it's going to void whatever item we want. So let's reroll that. Oh, that was so bad. I guess we'll take Lil Delirium. I should have just taken the shield. Get this, get the other half of our angel key. We need to get rid of these stupid fire flame things. We do have enough spirit hearts and stuff lying around on the rest of the level that I'm not overly concerned about our health. There we go. That should do it. Finished. What? You didn't drop a key for me? Come on, guy. That's so bad. There is a battery all the way over there. You know what? We're going to take the blue cap. Because why not? We'll pick up the spirit hearts. And then we're going to run all the way back. So that we can re-roll uh, the Mr. Boom. And hopefully get something a little bit more useful. I should also check these and see. Oh, I don't know what tier effect that was, but I don't like it. Little Delirium, not a great item. I, I probably should have gone with the shield instead, but too late now. Either way, we have a battery down here that we can use. So let's pick that up. And we'll head back to our mini boss fight, which was over here. Reroll. Chocolate milk. How does that even work with... I, oh, I, I don't like this. I, I mean, I don't think it really, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't think it really does anything because I can't like charge. Like when I press the arrow, it fires all the things. So I don't think it really does anything. But whatever. Away we go. Let's head down to the next floor. We're going very slow considering we're on the third floor, and we're 30 minutes into the run already. That's insane. But that's okay. It's all, it's okay. Everything is fine. We'll be able to speed up a little bit here fairly soon. Uh, once we don't have item rooms and all that kind of stuff. I do not like... Uh, we're not taking that. Uh, no, that's not Cursed Eye. That's Mom's Pearl, right? Yes. Let's blow that up. The bomb and a key. Okay. We'll take it. And over here, you know what? I'm just going to use this. We're going to pop it because I'll be able to see the map. Hmm. Now there's an interesting decision. There's a library there. I'd have to get rid of the D6. But if there's a satanic Bible in there, that could basically be the run. Because we have damage. What we really need at this point is a way to get lots of health. We have all the damage we need. So I'm kind of thinking, given that we have what we need, damage-wise, yeah, let's just blow it up. 
give me a good trinket. That's not a good trinket. That's okay. I think we go for it. What do we have? Uh, the Necronomicon. Not amazing. Not amazing at all. Not what I was hoping for. We might be able to reroll it, though, using our D6 to get something. I'm trying to think what books we have left. I think at this point, we basically have the Book of Revelation. Uh, we got the Book of Belial. We have the... Yeah, there's actually a couple of books left that aren't the best. But either a Book of Revelation or a Satanic Bible could be amazing for us and allow us to generate health, which is really what I need on this run. That's really the only thing left. Everything else I'm pretty much good, thanks to, uh, thanks to Dr. Fetus. Ansu's Vision. Better than the World card, because it shows the secret rooms. And the Emperor I don't really need. Okay. So, we're also two guppy items in. Uh, might as well take them. We're two guppy items in, so the guppy dream is real. Like, it, it could happen. It could be a thing. And I hope it is. That would be great. But we also don't... We're, we're also getting deals with the angel. Kind of much to my surprise. Oh, this is not a place I want to be. Blow up that guy. Blow up. You blow up as well. Come on. Get exploded. There we go. Alright, let's check our item room. See what we got. There we go. We have... Concussive Tears. I have no idea how that would work. Let's reroll it. And that gives us 2020. Which is double the... Basically double... Double my fire. Ooh, I see items here that I definitely want. I definitely want Humbling Bundle, I think. And Small Rock. Okay. Get... Blown up. I don't want to blow... I don't want to blow up my donation machine. You're making me blow up my donation machine. That's not very nice of you. That's okay. We're fine. Let's get all of these. Get all of those. Here we have more bombs, which I don't need. I am definitely taking Humbling Bundle because it'll give me double bombs and double keys for basically the rest of the run. I don't really have any desire to get this. What are we on? Depths 2. So we're on like the fourth floor. I think we're on the fourth floor. Maybe this is not the fourth floor. Maybe this is the sixth floor. I should have looked. I don't remember the names of all the floors. It's one of my one of my downfalls. I feel like I should know, but that's okay. Hi. Get blown up. There we go. And we got a pill that is... Oh, that's like the worst pill ever. Thankfully, Humbling Bundle was able to help us recuperate most of that loss. That could have been very bad. Uh, Self-sacrifice room. Yeah, no hearts. Sometimes there's hearts sitting in there, but not today, it appears. That actually went pretty well. Oh, Little Delirium has taken the form of uh, Little Brimstone. Okay, cool. There we go. Justice card, Justice. sure. That'll get me back to full health. I appreciate it. Thank you, game. This is going to be a very annoying room, I can just tell. Because the ghosts alone are... super annoying by themselves. Especially when you have uh, my current setup, because your bombs go through them and don't stick to them. Please stop with the things. There we go. Oh, apparently my bomb caught one. Oh, also, a free ghost baby. Hey, I'll take it. And two of clubs. We'll double our bombs, take Ansus with us, blow these guys up. There goes one and the other. Not too bad. And we probably should look for our secret rooms. Given that we have infinite bombs, there's really no reason, no excuse not to. That's not our second secret room. Really? Could be up here, I suppose. No, not there. There's not a whole lot more as far as locations where it could be. I suppose it could be there? Okay, I'm not that interested in finding it. <laughs> it's being difficult, so I give up. 
Because it's not over here. It's not down here. I mean, whatever. Oh, those bombs came back at me. Oh, let's knock it. This is going to be an annoying fight because the foot does not stay down long enough to actually get hit with the bombs. But I think we'll be okay. There we go. And we're going to take the negative because I want to go to Shoal and to the Dark Room to hopefully finish out the card. We are definitely taking... Hmm. Yeah, we'll take the... We'll take Holy Mantle for sure. It's one of the best items in the game. I mean, that's not even a, a thought. I was considering re-rolling it and trying to go for, like, Sacred Heart or something like that, so all of our bombs would have homing effects, but uh, Holy Mantle is just so good. I mean, basically what Holy Mantle is going to do is one time per room I can take damage without actually taking damage, and that's amazing for me. Like, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this is probably a one run. I think we've got this one in the bag, as long as we don't just, like, massively throw it. <laughs> Which, what was that? I don't know why those all came back at me. There we go. Yera. Very good. Uh, so we're gonna use Ansus, or Ansas. It's basically, I, I'm gonna call it Ansus forever. We'll take Yera with us. And now we can finally start kind of I don't want to say rushing, per se, but speeding up. What do we got here? I can see forever. Good pill. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Yeah, we'll take Yera. These guys are infinitely more annoying. Or this room is infinitely more annoying when you can't fly. Well, and they are, too, because they leave creep behind that will damage you. But I can fly, so it's all good. Um, Yeah, you know what? We're going to go for it. We'll get rid of him easy enough. And then we've got explosions and stuff happening all over the place. Uh, I'm just trying to get as many bombs down as I can at the moment, and I'll worry about the dodging later. There we go. That should do it. No? Missed. There we go. That one got him. And little chub. Or actually, big chub. Not little chub. There we go. We'll take Mom's Pearl. And got a couple keys for it. Nothing super amazing. But we're in, we're in a really good spot, honestly. Like, we're in very good shape right now. So, ooh, hi. Thank you, Holy Mantle. Blow those up. There we go. And let's just make our way to our boss. This is going to be an incredibly annoying room. Let's not get blown up by our own stuff. Oh, almost. Oh, thank you, Dry Baby. Come on. All right. I think we made it out without too many problems. We're good. Okay. Moving on. We're just going to basically make a beeline for the boss at this point. Because there's nothing else I need to do on this floor. Nothing super useful. And that's how this floor and the next floor are going to go. So we're finally going to be picking up the pace a little bit. If I can blow up this guy. Where'd you go? Oh, there he is. Come on. Hey. I can't kill you if I can't see you. Oh, there he is. Got him. Yeah, we'll take the keys. They could come in handy. How's our luck? Our luck is at three, so we should get a few items on the dark room, hopefully. That's the hope, anyway. We'll have to see. Sometimes it'll work out that way, sometimes it won't. But all in all, I mean, this has been a very good run. We're in very good shape. Uh, this has been a great a great start to the series so far. We still have a couple of floors left. I mean, I'm not amazing, so anything could potentially go wrong, I suppose. But we've got Holy Mantle. We've got Dr. Fetus. I think we're probably in good shape. Like, it's gonna... I would have to colossally mess up for us to lose this run at this point. I think we're we're pretty set. Uh, and this is a perfect example of somewhere where I could very easily mess up the run. Please don't. Ah, uh, there we go. Got it. Okay, let's see what we got. We have Degas, we have Ansus, Yera, Ansus, 
Yera. I think we're gonna take Degas with us. Yeah, that's what I think. Yera's great. Oh, that was so bad. Thank you, Holy Mantle, for existing and being a part of this run. There we go. That could have been horrendous. But I think we're gonna take Degas with us because a curse could really hurt us more than just about anything else. This is a, an item that's getting re-rolled. There we go. Get exploded. Oh, let's not explode myself. And there we go. And I know that this is White Pony. So that's probably going to be the item. Miter is good. We need to... I want to fight the Angel Statue. And get the, the other key, but... For some reason, when we fought it last time... Why are you not dropping the key pieces? I need the key pieces, guy. <sighs> That's so annoying. White Pony, take this, re-roll that, dessert. Not what I was looking for. I was hoping for something better, but that's okay. Honestly, as I said before, we are pretty much set. See, this is why I brought Degas. We have Curse of Darkness, which means you guys probably can't really see anything. So we'll use our Degas, clear the curse. Don't really need the health that it gives because we're set in that regard. Especially thanks to Holy Mantle. There we go. Um, get blown up. Thank you. Let's go this way. Do that. And just systematically kind of get rid of these guys. There we go. And our secret room is right down here. And we got a battery charge, which could come in handy, to be fair. That could be really useful. Uh, I'm thinking this is not the way I want to go. Because I usually the boss is down by the secret room, or by the second secret room. So I'm going to assume that our boss is actually down maybe this way. Hey, free bombs, thank you. And we have an arcade, we'll definitely check that out. There we go. What do we got in the arcade? I think we play the Demon Judgment. And actually, if we're going to play the Demon Judgment... Oh, that was bad. We might as well play the Blood Bank as well. Um, That did not work out as I had hoped, but that's okay. Let's play this guy. Give me an item. What? What are you? Death. Not great. And an HP up, which I actually don't particularly want. Uh, so here's what I'm thinking. I think we play the Key Beggar, because he's going to spit out chests, right? And we still have a chance of becoming Guppy on this run. And he's going to give us... That's not what I want. Come on. We'll take it. It's fine. And our Demon Judgment, I'm just going to blow him up. At this point. I'll leave that item there. We've got a heart, but... Why why were red hearts popping up here? Whatever. It's fine. We're okay. And we have Humble and Gwundle, so... Even though we're a little low on red hearts right now, I'm not overly concerned. Let's blow these guys all up. No red hearts dropping? That's fine. Another Demon Judgment. Going to get blown up. There we go. A couple of coins. Not particularly worth it. Oh, Holy Mantle! That's right, I had forgotten about that. Uh, this is gonna get blown up. Blown up. And you, and you. Goodbye. I'm just gonna, I don't even need the coins. I've got more coins than I'm gonna use for the remainder of the run, for sure. You are annoying. Down here's our secret room. Hopefully it'll be the secret room that just has a ton of red hearts in it. That would be awesome. Oh, let's not get hit by that. I think my holy mantle is still active. I don't think I got hit on this room, so I think we're good. What do we got in here? Nothing particularly useful. I'm actually quite happy with my current trinket. Let's go this way. 
there goes my holy mantle, but I think we're okay. Oh, let's not get hit by that. This is gonna be an annoying room. I may take damage on this room, we'll see. Okay, that actually could have been way worse. Get. And there we go, that should do it. Chariot card. Probably more useful than death? It lives. There goes my holy mantle. And now we get to launch bombs. Goodbye, bomb. Mama's boy. I don't know what that's for, but hey, I'll take it. We'll call it good. And we have the relic. This, I believe, gives me flight? I think? I think it's a health up in flight. This one I know drops soul hearts every couple of rooms. Can I fight a double? Double, all right. One of you had better drop that other half of the key that I need. I'm just saying. Like, I'm so tired of you not dropping what I need. It's quite infuriating. Thank you, game. There we go. All right, so we have all the stuff at our disposal to fight Mega Satan, if we so choose. And if we get down there, <clears throat> excuse me, assuming we can recover some health, I think that's probably what we're going to end up doing. Because, I mean, how could we not? Have you seen the run? It's beautiful. Anytime. Come on, guys. Pop up. There's one. That was not great. Okay, we're good. Uh, secret room's like up here somewhere. Also, if I could get a sun card, I would be feeling a lot better about fighting greed. Really? Good. Thanks. Thanks for the coins. Completely irrelevant at this point in the game. The luck is useful, though. And the spirit hearts could potentially come in handy. Not bad. These guys are super annoying. There's a tinted rock right there. There we go. Looks like this is not the way to the boss, though. Despite that, uh, despite me thinking that, it appears that's not the case. So, this is going to be a, a ridiculously annoying room. Okay, we're good. Let's <laughs> So remember when I was talking about annoying rooms? This is going to be a million times worse. Because <laughs> brimstone small room. I think our first bomb got like three of them. Or got two of them, though. So we may be okay. Come on. Pop up. There oh, I got I got brimstoned. That's okay. Thank you for the spirit heart. Relic? Or not relic. What? Maybe it is relic. I forget the name of that little cross item. But he's toast. Um, we can go in here for free thanks to Holy Mantle. Guppy items, please. I only... Oh, now we're not going to get out of here for free. That's okay. I only need one more Guppy item to become Guppy. Like, I'm so close. I just need one. And yet, the game does not want to work with me today. This... These... No. Stay, stay away. Thank you. Half a spirit heart. We'll take it. Little haunts. Super annoying, but it's okay. Um, tears up, might as well. Up. These guys should go down pretty easily. We did find our second secret room as part of that whole thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was <laughs> exactly what I needed. So I'm actually quite quite happy with the way that that room turned out. That was... Uh, that's not Guppy. That's okay. So now we're going to fight Satan. Put a bomb right there. Oh, don't come back at me! <laughs> My stupid bombs. That should do it. And now we get to fight Mega Satan. Oh, and I got hit. That's okay. I don't mind getting hit once or twice. As long as we don't make a habit of it. And now we have the feet. They should be relatively easy. 
and we're just gonna keep basically tossing bombs behind us, and that would be it. Oh, we could go fight Delirium. Now, you know what? I, we got the- we have the key. We have to go Mega Satan. We have to go the Mega Satan route. And I also need to kill the lamb. I need to kill the lamb on this run to unlock something. That's Cursed Eye, which I definitely don't want. Pandora's box is completely useless. Don't come back at me. And I almost just grabbed Cursed Eye right there. We're going to reroll these right now while I still can. <laughs> um, Bumbo and Turdy Touch. You know what? We're going to leave both. We're going to leave both for now. Mega Maw? We're okay. Stop sending my bombs back at me. Please, just go go blow up said boss guy. There we go. That ought to do it. Because if we can get a couple more chests and, and or rerolls, I'd much prefer to get a double reroll there and get two items that are actually, like, legitimately useful for me. Bumbo's not bad, but at this point, I don't think I'm going to get the coins I need to really, you know, make him useful. So I think we're probably better off trying to re-roll. Get blown up. Get blown up, all of you. These little annoying guys are going to be... Oh, that, okay. That actually went better than I thought it was going to. Where did we get a headless baby from? Is that our delirium? Yeah, a little delirium. He's taken the form of headless baby. This is going to be a very annoying room. And that is why, right there. They're everywhere. Ah, come on. Luckily, we'll be okay. I mean, we've got enough soul hearts lying around behind us. <laughs> that we can just run back, pick them up, and fully replenish our health fairly easily. So I think we'll be good. And I'm assuming that our lamb fight is not that way. Okay. So, well, might as well go up and just see what's up here. Husk. Kind of an annoying boss, but not ridiculously so. Mostly just annoying because he spits out spiders everywhere in a small room like this. That can get a little overwhelming with all the stuff that's on the screen. That should do it. And we got a uh, revenge fly, smart fly. Pretty decent item as far as uh, kind of fly familiars go. We need to get rid of this guy first. Where'd you go? There. That should do it. Come on. Get blown up. There we go. And we got... Cricket's body? How does this work? Oh, cluster bombs, basically. Okay. I was wondering how that was going to work with Dr. Fetus. This is a synergy I haven't had yet in this game. But it seems to work, kind of, as long as... I can also see this being extremely dangerous. I don't think I want that. Um, I do want bomb synergies, though. But that I think I'm going to go away from, because when it comes to Dr. Fetus, it's very beneficial to be able to have the bombs kind of stick to enemies, and I don't think piercing shots is going to be useful. So, we, we have at least six rooms left. Let's re-roll it. Uh, we definitely don't want that. That's, uh, that's one of those items that will straight up <laughs> ruin me. That can, that's a run-ruining item for me. Number two, basically, when I hold down, well... Actually, you know what? It probably wouldn't be. But it's also irrelevant because I don't need it. That's another item I don't need. Come on. How about you give me some decent items? I'm getting blown up. I'm getting exploded by my own bombs. They're everywhere. Those... Man. We are... We are very powerful right now. Let's take you. I think maybe at this point I should... Just kind of take item, uh, just anything that isn't, like, directly detrimental to my run would be good. Although, re-rolling in this room, I get a chance at two items? Like, two two potential re-rolls, basically. So I think that's probably my best bet. 
He's gonna come flying down somewhere. There we go. That should finish him off. What else we got? You're gonna have to do better than that game. Daddy long legs. That'll do it. And bucket of lard. Also not useful at all. Let's re-roll these. We got the poop and magnetic tears. No. <laughs> Have I removed all the good items from the item pool? Because that's kind of what it feels like right now. Not a difficult room. Oh, what did I get hit on? Is it the fire? The fire hurts me? Oh, that's a problem. That is a problem. I don't know. It must have been one of the effects from my $3 bill. Oh, that was bad. All right. Well, thank you for returning all the spirit hearts that I will ever need. And thanks for giving those to me. I need them, apparently. This is going to be really annoying. There are so many spiders everywhere. And the, oh, the fires are real. Like, look at this. That was a horrendous room. <laughs> that was so bad. I don't know. What did I take? Cricket's body? Is that what's really messing me up right now? I feel like it is. Oh, boy. We just have to be kind of careful. There's a D6. Let's... Oh, I shouldn't have done that, actually. I should have... Oh, well. Too late now. All right. Let's head back. Reroll again. That's worth taking. Virgo balances all of our stat. Actually, that probably wasn't worth taking, come to think of it. Oh, well. It's okay. Let's go get these spirit hearts. One. And then there's two up here. And then I think we're just going to make a rush. We're just going to make a run for the boss room. And then we'll from there, we'll decide if we have what we need to take on Mega Satan. I think we do. I think we'll be okay. We've got crazy damage, but it could go either way. We'll have to see. Uh, secret room over there. With a ton of pills, I really... Uh, tears up. Tears up. Three tears up spill. I'm 99% sure I'm already at the tier cap. What's that? Range up. And... Balls of steel. That's a great pill. Okay. So this is good. Uh, this is going to be super annoying. The cage is a very, very challenging enemy when you've got two of them on a small room like this. I mean, this isn't like a small, small room, but on a regular sized room, this is one of those things. We made it out unscathed, though, surprisingly. A couple of spirit hearts on the ground. That's always good. The stain is also going to be very annoying. That could have gone worse. All right. Let's fight the lamb. Wow, the damage. The damage is insane. <laughs> I think we're good. We're just going to have to... No, I don't want to take a victory lap. So we have unlocked... The missing poster is what it says. And now it's super dark, I know. But we got to try and fight Mega Satan. I mean, we have to. How, how can we not? First run, we get the chance. How can we say no to that? You know what? Let's go and fight this last room. There's enough spirit hearts on the ground where I'm not too worried. We might as well check the path and just see if any more cool items pop up. Because since we do have semi-decent luck... And there's tons of spirit hearts. I'm not really taking any risks. That is shielded tears. That's actually really useful against Mega Satan, although I don't know how it's going to synergize with uh, Dr. Fetus. Oh, I didn't see those guys. That's all right. We'll be fine. At this point, I think we're good. Okay. So, we have... Essentially full health. I've got a chariot card. I think we're as ready as we're going to be for this fight, honestly. Might as well take the Spelunker hat. I don't think it does us any good whatsoever right now. But let's do it. Hi. 
Here we go. The fight against Mega Satan. <laughs> Did we? Wow, that was that was really fast. We took him out of the first phase like instantly. One that was like one volley of bombs. Our damage is great. This is awesome. Death needs to go first with your annoying sights and sickles and your slowness effects. There we go. And now you're back. Oh, I'm in the middle of the beam. Thank you, Holy Mantle. You get blown up as well. Envy's going to be really annoying, so we're just going to start throwing out bombs left and right. And hope we explode all of these super Envy spot uh, points things. There we go. That could have been way worse. You get blown up. Come on. There we go. And then we just gotta blow you up a couple more times. Fight the angels. They have relatively low HP, so that shouldn't be a problem. There's one. Why am I running towards my explosions? That's a terrible idea. Are we good? Nope, 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 nope. And now we get to fight... Uh, I believe this is Mega Satan's final phase. Right here. He's about to pop up, and then we're gonna go into, like, straight-up bullet hell mode, where there's gonna be just projectiles everywhere, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to dodge all these, so I'm just gonna start tossing bombs. Did we do it? I think we did it. We did... You give me the... You give me the the void. You give me the void floor. Okay. Well, first run, I mean, hey, how can you not, right? Like, when given the opportunity, you gotta do it. You gotta. But we've never, we've now fought Mega Satan. That's new for me. I don't know if I've beaten Delirium with Isaac or not. I may have. Oh, yeah, I can fly. There's no reason for me to just, like, stand on the thing. And at this point, wow, that's a lot of trinkets. I think I stick with the one I've got. Let's blow that up for our secret room. Chest, not particularly interested in any of those. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I Normally on Delirium, oh, hi, I didn't even see you. Normally on Delirium, I would attempt to fight all the floors, uh, like all the other bosses first to get, you know, whatever items I can find, but I'm not really going to worry about it that much. I'm just going to go for it. If we come across a boss room, we'll fight it. I think our damage and health is good enough, and we do have Holy Mantle, so I don't anticipate taking too much damage on the way there. I think we'll be okay. Take that Soul Heart. Uh, wouldn't mind replacing our spacebar item at this point, though, AWAS. Hmm. Sure. Crawl space? Nothing. Doesn't even work on the void floor. Let's go this way. Those guys are so annoying. I hate them. I hate them with a passion. That's okay. We're fine. Uh, let's grab our soul heart. Just in case we do come across Delirium first. There's certain, like, ways that Delirium can... Maggie's Faith. I forget what Maggie's Faith does. I think we'll stick with Mom's Pearl. I seem to remember Maggie's Faith is like at the start of a floor you get a an Eternal Heart? Or something like that? I forget for sure. Mama Gertie. Okay, not delirium. Get blown up. Thank you. And we get the Book of Revelations. Which, honestly, to be fair, is an excellent item. But is also essentially irrelevant, as is that. We have so many other ways to get spirit hearts right now that I think we're fine. Really, the only items that I'm 
particularly interested in are ones that give us explosion immunity. Everything else is mostly irrelevant. Like, it's just not needed, you know? Um, let's go... <clears throat> hmm, one of these directions. Let's go this way. Big room over here. I'm just going to start tossing out bombs. There's a tinted rock right there, and I've got the ability to open it, so I might as well. I have so many keys. Hi, spider. Get us bloated. Let's go this way. Nope. Chub. Wow, look at that. One shot chub. That's awesome. I mean, that's not that surprising, all things considered, but... Another chariot card. I already had that. Didn't really need another one, but hey, whatever. You know what would be great is some sort of mapping. So I could kind of see what was going on here. Conquest. Get exploded. No, I, I don't want lost per... I don't want... No. Sure. You know what? We'll take Binky. I think it breaks the tier cap. If I remember correctly, this is not going to be fun. On a tiny room like this, this is just, this is just devilish. Whew, that was close. All right, you are Delirium. Okay, we found Delirium. We're going to have to be careful. This could, I mean, we could lose against Delirium. But honestly, if I lose against Delirium, I'm perfectly okay with that. Like, this is, this run already went farther than I thought it was going to. We, we killed Mega Satan. We killed the lamb, which was my goal for the run. And if we if we beat Delirium, that's just like the icing on the cake, you know? Uh, we are taking some pretty bad damage, though. Like, I need to dodge better. And honestly, the first half of the Delirium fight is a million times easier than the second half. So, the fact that he's already got me down a couple hearts and broken my Holy Mantle is... A little disconcerting, and I don't really have... Ooh. Actually, okay, so Shielded Tears does work. Kind of. It seems to, anyway. It seems to break the tears that Delirium throws. Delirium, however, unlike Hush, does not have uh, any sort of, like, damage resistance. So the damage I do is going to be pretty good. Has a lot of health, but... We got him down about halfway, a little bit more. Eh, we might be okay in this fight. This is where it starts to get a little hairy, though. And Dry Baby, as well, is doing amazing things for us. Let's stop. Let's not get hit on the little spider guys. Come on, now. Oh. Stop. Hey, 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 stay. Ooh, double angels. Okay. Oh, man. Now I'm just running into stuff. Hit him. Hey, he's taking on the lamb. Oof, that was not the best dodging in the world, but hey. Oh, teleporting right on top of me. Gotta love that. This could go either way. Like, this is down to the wire. Ooh, Mama Gertie. There we go. Oh, man. Yeah, we may... We may lose this one. We'll have to see. I mean, I do have a chariot card that I can pop if it really comes down to it. I'd prefer to not have to. I can't see when you do that, Delirium. Come on. Come on, work with me. Is this still Delirium down here? No, it's not. A couple of coins, which don't really do me any good. Oh, boy. Man, this is not good. I gotta play real careful. We're in... A rough spot. Like, this... This is... Come on, Dry Baby. Thank you for blocking shots, Dry Baby. Oh, hi. That's the problem with Delirium, is he just, like, teleports right on top of you. That seemed like a good one. Oh, there's... Blow that up. Oh, we almost got him! We're so close! We're so close! We just need to not get blown up. Did we do it? Whoo, I think we did it. Two hearts left. 
Not the best Delirium fight I've ever had, but a very good run nonetheless. Guys, that is going to do it for the first Binding of Isaac up on this episode. I, or I, I can't even words right now. That's going to do it for the first Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus run on this channel. That was a long one, I know, but we did all the things. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Do so, do show your support. Subscribe if you're interested in more of this type of content. Thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.